Hello guys, it's me, I'm Geek, and today we'll be taking a look at this new figure that I've bought, which is the um, Ultron Wave Tiger Shark. Now, here's some history about Tiger Shark, if you do not know the character. Here I go. So basically, the story of Tiger Shark is that he was... Uh, Basically, a really good swimmer. He was one of those guys which was in the Olympics, I think, something like that. And he, and one day he tried to save someone uh, in the sea, but he actually ended up kind of getting killed in the sea by waves. Were just the waves of the sea were just pushing him all around and there just so happened to be a big co coincidence that there was a lot of boats around and the waves were just pushing him into the boat all the time until his uh, spine broke and then a couple of years or days later they fixed them by uh, giving him a shark's DNA and then his spine repaired, but with the exception of him being a very feral creature, he became like Killer Croc. He became like Marvel's Killer Croc. Or Marvel's uh, King Shark. Yeah, Marvel's King Shark. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna take Spider Man out of here because I was doing a post where he was strangling him. Yeah, so now that we got that out of the way, let's take a look at Tiger Shark. As you can see he has his teeth, um, the light, yeah, you can see that now, his teeth. There's some marveling effects on his uh, head, uh, white eyes, his, oh, <coughs> his head just popped off. Uh, now on camera it looks kind of like a bluish purple, but... It's actually a very dark purple, so on camera it looks different. And he has an orange jumpsuit. This is the, uh, not the Hyperion, uh, yeah, Hyperion body mold. So, uh, yeah. He has those very jagged uh, kind of claw hands, which he should, which fits the character. He's also an enemy of Namor. Uh, he also has these big feet. I just love these big bulky figures. And of course the fin and his head wouldn't move up so when I took him out of the packaging. So what I did was that I basically took a hair dryer, hit it up for 5 minutes and then I bend this a bit so I could put the head up. So it's worth it. If you really want him to look up, it's worth it to do that. So, let's now do the articulation. The head is on a ball joint, as you saw, so it moves up, down, swivel. The arms are also kind of on the ball joint. They move this far out, this far in, they move up. There's a swivel in the bicep. There's double joint elbow. There's wrist swivel, and also it pivots. He has a um, diaphragm joint. He has a waist swivel. His uh, legs move this far out, this far in, this far forward. N not so much back. He has a thigh swivel. Double joint in knees. Um, a calf, a boot rotation. And his uh, feet move up and down and an ankle pivot. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do a comparison to this guy with um, here he is next to Spider-Man. Here he is next to my custom Batman. And finally here he is next to the Marvel Legends Bulldozer from the same wave. And I love this wave. And this guy doesn't come with any accessories except the Builder Figure part. I do have it, but I can't show it right now because it's on the Ultron figure right now and I can't find it. It's somewhere in my collection. Yeah, but um, 
I can't show that accessory, but it's basically the same thing as the arm that came with this guy, which I also reviewed. So these two are the only ones I'm re reviewing in this wave, with a, the exception of Ultron. So, yeah, I really do like this figure. He's an awesome figure. I love the fin part, which is obviously the most uh, engaging part about him. I love that he's like um, a shark, half man, half shark hybrid. I just love that part, and uh, he will be appearing in the um, uh, Iron Man show, which I have made already on season 3. He will also be appearing in the Spider-Man and the um, Green Goblin show that I'm going to make. So stay tuned for that. He will be coming next season of Iron Man. So, and he will be also having an appearance in the Green Goblin series and the Spider-Man series that I'm making. So stay tuned for that. And... This is me giving you the ultimate face bomb.